Maybe one day I'll start doing my hair again, but that day is not today. Hello everyone, so today I want to do a hopefully quick video as long as I don't ramble too much. I want to talk about this notion um, or this concept. Is sustainable design elitist? I've really started thinking about this idea because of a class I'm taking called Danish Design. We have these things called field studies sometimes on Wednesdays where you can basically go to different places in Copenhagen, learn a little bit more about something relating to that particular class and one day we went to a place where they make furniture. It's basically a furniture workshop. They don't want to call it a factory. It's called PP Moobler and they mostly produce, I believe 90% of what they produce are Hans Wagner designs. So a real classic name in Danish design. But basically we had a tour guide there who was just talking about how sustainable what they were producing was, which it definitely was. Really, really high quality materials, um, a lot of natural materials. They mostly used wood there. Um, they showed a lot of different ways. They either focus on the grain of the wood, getting seams to align, as well as like manipulating wood in a way where they can like twist and bend it and things like that. We also hopped down to where they upholster the chairs and I particularly liked this part being a fashion person, textiles interest me. They were talking about how they really try to focus on not getting more fabric than they need. They have all of their fabrics um, custom woven for them and they try to have as little waste as possible of course, in order to lower their impact, lower their sort of textile waste, because that's obviously a big issue in the apparel industry, in the housewares industry. So that was really, really nice to see. And they also choose to stuff the chairs with more natural things, as opposed to foam, for example, which breaks down, deteriorates, and obviously is pretty harsh to produce. They'll use horse hair more often than not in place of that. So yeah, basically that's what's going on there. Of course, everyone working there is getting fair wages. Um, they were just talking about how even though these are extremely, extremely expensive pieces of furniture that they are worth it in the long run. It's pieces that can last throughout generations, that have really low impact on the environment, and are just kind of better quality overall. So you would probably ask yourself, well, what's the problem there? It sounds pretty good, aside from the whole expensive thing. But that that's just, that's such a huge issue, unfortunately. Um, in furniture, in apparel, a lot of these brands that are making strides in the world of sustainability are just are not tangible for people with really, really tight budgets. And that's something that a lot of you have even like reached out to me on Tumblr before asking about, you know, being in college and trying to afford sustainable fashion. I struggle with this. Obviously, I am also a college student and there's only so many times before you can go thrifting, vintage shopping, where you just start to crave new items, items that haven't been used. I love good item with character and a story, but I don't know. This is something I was thinking about the other day. No one's really said this to me, but do you think it's degrading for a person to have to only rely on used products in order to be sustainable because they are forced to be on a budget? I don't know. That's just something I've been asking myself. Sorry, my battery filled up if things look like they've shifted at all. But yeah, I just don't feel like it's the best move to make these things so out of reach. Obviously, <sighs> These industries are so incredibly intricate with how people are paid throughout the supply chain. The obvious solution is, of course, to have some pay cuts for those higher ups because really that could probably be enough to bump up the wages of people working in like sweatshops, for example, without altering the cost of the final product too much. I guess I don't know too much about that, but Again, I kind of want this video to start up a discussion, hopefully, in the comments. I'm young. I'm trying to figure out what the solution is. I think it is important to look at some bigger companies and not shoot them down for trying to make baby steps in regards to sustainability. You know, companies like H&M and Target who do discuss um, their social responsibility, their sustainability, and although they might not be perfect, 
in every single regard. Just seeing what they are doing right, you know, read through their sustainability reports, go into their stores, see if you're actually seeing these solutions and if you're not, really making your voice heard, saying things to these big companies because your Patagonias and your Island Fishers can only do so much to help their cause before there's only like so much they can do because they can't reach such a big audience um, with their price tags, unfortunately. So yeah, I don't know what the solution is, but I think great sustainable design is important. Even the expensive options as well, you know, I think we just need to fill the market with sustainable items at every single price point because obviously right now our market is filled with a lot of things. It's just that not all of those things are sustainable or affordable if they are sustainable, just like I've already been saying in this video. So yeah, I don't know, not really a solid conclusion to this, but I just wanted to chat a little bit about that field study and chat a little bit about sustainability in regards to a field I don't really talk about ever, which is, you know, furniture, and then a field that I do talk about quite often, which is fashion. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And that is basically it. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.